interesting panels. We've covered a lot of different use cases. Um, that was certainly the plan for the day. But I would be remiss in not taking a little bit of time to walk you through uh, what we do have in our portfolio. I know that we've referred to it two or three times. Um, but uh, I am going to jump right in and let's just take a little look at, at really what is in our roadmap, what have we been doing. Um, this is the standard protocol disclaimer that we have um, when we we're presenting our EY materials. Um, obviously there's nothing going to be in my deck today which can be used for tax or legal or other professional advice. This is certainly not um, any uh, accounting advice that you should take. So this is really our point of view. Uh, we're going to have a little look at the portfolio. I can give a quick reminder of, of, of what our portfolio is, a little bit of the, the, the sort of the, the core principles of our strategy. Um, we're going to look at what's included in that, what do we have in our portfolio, what capabilities we have, and uh, we are going to spend some time on our Ops Chain Contract Manager, which we are, of course, launching with this event. I know Paul mentioned it yesterday and very exciting to have me joined in a little while by Constantine, our product manager in this space. So let's dive in. EY blockchain. So we're a combination of things, but uh, the, the, the sort of the circle diagram here is what you can see. This is really our, our product portfolio. And what is our product portfolio? And, and Paul touched on it yesterday, but just remember we're all about uh, enterprise blockchain solutions and also blockchain services that support those. Uh, we are, with our product portfolio, we are fully committed to public blockchain with privacy uh, and have invested heavily to be able to, to say and, and do that. Uh, and our focus when we're building product is on the Ethereum ecosystem. And the way that we think about sort of the solutions that we're building is that we believe they should be easy to consume and a, as and packaged as APIs. So this is sort of the, the, the ethos of it. At the very core, we've got a common platform, blockchain.ey.com. I encourage you to go look at it, see it. You, it that is the foundational platform for our whole portfolio. Um, and we wrap it. Uh, literally, we, we're wrapping with our Nightfall Starlight technology, technology that we've put out to the public domain, but we're also using it as an integral part of our, our own portfolio so that we can privacy enable our own solutions, which is exactly what we've been doing. Um, we have on the platform, we've got a set of component APIs that are sort of a little bit like the Lego bricks. Um, and we've been building up quite a, a sort of a collection of those now, and those are used in part or otherwise with our broader products and, and industry solutions that you see in the yellow. Um, I think people are familiar with and we've had for a long time our, our blockchain analyzer solutions, um, smart contract and token review, uh, which is really all about when you're building your smart contracts to be able to to have a, a, a standardized set of testing um, and uh, we've got a, a huge library now of, of tests that you can use behind it to check the integrity of, this, of the smart contract um, and to be able to, to validate it. Uh, that um, solution is we can, we can actually do the verification for you, we can run it through the system and we can have a look and give you back a report on any vulnerabilities that you might have in that smart contract. We also have it available as a, as, a, as a tool that you can, if you're building and you're developing your own solutions, you can also do that today. And we have our blockchain analyzer, blockchain analyzer reconciler. Uh, and we talked today uh, earlier with, with Brian Allen from, from Fidelity Digital Assets. They're using it. We, you know, it's, it's one that's been part of our, our portfolio for, for a very long time. Um, Ops chain. Ops chain is really all about the sort of the supply chain tooling. Um, we have traceability. We've got our new contract manager, and we have, of course, Ops chain ESG, which is for the tokenized 
creation of carbon emissions at a product level, um, which is really a, a fantastic solution to underpin some of the ideas that, that uh, Bob was, was sharing uh, earlier. Um, now, being EY, what we're known for, even beyond our, our product, we've got to remember, and I'm going to call out our, our services, our blockchain services, uh, we've got tremendous capabilities, I would say in a lot of different areas, but I would certainly call out strategy, consulting, implementation services. Um, we've got, you know, blockchain related financial statement audits, smart contract and token reviews, as we were saying, uh, but also tax services. So uh, it's very broad um, and uh, I think that we have the skills within the broader organization should you need it. Um, we've been at it for a long time. Paul shared that. This is, this is our eighth annual blockchain summit. So, you know, we've been investing in this space for a, a long time. Uh, and as a result, you know, we've, we've managed to accumulate capability, capability in people. You know, we've got a great, a huge number of professionals now, more than a thousand that are blockchain, um, sort of different, various different skills within the blockchain space, but um, globally within EY. Uh, we've, we've now got 27 patents um, that we've filed for related specifically to encryption and solution design. Uh, we've really built out our, our infrastructure um, and we're starting to get noticed, I would say. Uh, um, we consider ourselves to be the industry leader and what's really nice is that we're being recognized for it. It's a relatively new thing. Uh, for the analysts to be actually going out and looking at what's happening in the market space. Uh, we're excited this year um, that IDC's Marketscape recognized us as a leader uh, in blockchain services. Um, that was not that long ago. It was just back in February of this year. Um, and at the back end of last year, HFS um, actually published a couple of different um, reports that they published last year both the enterprise blockchain services where they recognize us as a leader, but also on public blockchain. And public blockchain, we really are in a class of our own. Our, our focus and, and in that space um, and commitment to it for when we're building our products uh, is, is we're really in a class of our own there. Um, but we're warmed with the reception that we're getting. And we do hope that more people start to look and understand that the the maturity in the market is at a place where, um, you know, I think it's of, of an interest to, to understand and know, know what's going on within the marketplace. Uh, clients, these are just a few, uh, always in EY. Uh, we're a little careful sharing all of the, the names of the companies that we work with. Um, some of them that have been mentioned today um, and you'll recognize them. Um, and all that are represented here represent all aspects of our, our product portfolio, I would say, uh, as well as the technology, as well as this, the, the technology that we're, that we're working to. So what's new? Uh, and I did say that I would get to the what's new. So one of the things that's new this year is that we have extended our EY blockchain analyzer solution. It's been built um, actually over several years. It's a, it's a very mature product when it comes to supporting our own EY teams in their delivery um, of, their, of, of audit services. Uh, well over 30 clients today, I would say. Um, but we're now able to offer it to clients beyond audit services. Um, they using it for different reasons, um, but really taking advantage of the capability of the the, the reconciliation, the address um, verification and balance calculations to be able to incorporate it as par other parts of their risk management process. Um, we heard today from, from Fidelity Digital Assets when they were describing um, their framework for controls um, and they, they really are quite extensive and so there can be a lot of different reasons why clients might need to be using this type of a solution within the context of their business um, in, in, and, in and to the side and separate from, from audit, which of course is a, a, an important use case for it. Uh, currently, uh, we're supporting Bitcoin, Ethereum, ERC20 and Litecoin uh, is, is also uh, being added as we speak for, 
for these new clients. Um, and it's super exciting because we're extending the reach of it. Um, and then it brings me to our other big new. And this is really the news of the last couple of days with the launch of op our Ops Chain Contract Manager. And I am excited to introduce you to Konstantin Nikolaev. Konstantin is our project manager. And I've got to just say congratulations to you and the team. Thank you very much. It's Mark. a very exciting day. Absolutely, it is. It's a huge milestone for us. And uh, I would like to start uh, from thanking everyone involved, um, yourself included, uh, for getting us to this point. And uh, special thanks goes to the entire OCM team, of course, who've been working tirelessly to make this dream come uh, true. Um, and we are in a position to basically announce uh, the official launch of OpsChain Contract Manager. So in my view, it's not just a step forward, it's a giant leap into the future of contract management, uh, where disputes and reconciliation become um, things of the past. Mm -hmm. So how op um, OCM works is it actually redefines the contract management uh, by automating the enforcement and reconciliation of uh, contract terms. So by doing so, uh, it ensures that um, all transactions uh, are executed flawlessly uh, across all parties involved um, in line with uh, agreed upon terms. So that not only um, reduces the, um, the possibility for dispute, but also um, boosts the efficiency and uh, reduces costs significantly as well. Fantastic. And, and we were very lucky earlier today because we actually saw it in action. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and it's, it's fascinating because it was for the power purchasing agreement. Uh, yeah. So tell, tell me about that. Yeah, that's right. And thanks, uh, a huge thank to um, our colleagues from uh, EY Renewable team to Arnold and Akshat for a great demo. Uh, demo OCM in action through the lens of power purchasing agreements. And w what exciting about this particular um, uh, example about this the use case that it actually the solution fits and benefits all uh, parties. So whether you are uh, an off taker or a generator of the uh, renewable energy, this solution will help you uh, to manage the agreement and unlock the full value. And it, it's also a great use case for our solution uh, because it's truly harnessing the benefits of decentralization. Absolutely. And I do want to touch on a, a, a couple of really important aspects of it. Um, we saw today, because the power purchasing agreement is a really good example, you take the contract and, and Act showed, showed us how you load that in and it gets actually deployed to the blockchain, right? And I just want to point out that this is all privacy enabled. So everything that was talked about yesterday um, around Nightfall, Starlight, and the ability to um, be able to take terms of an agreement between a, a B2B relationship, you mm -hmm. can actually do that with privacy, and that's baked in to OCM. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Which is Correct. amazingly ex uh, uh, exciting. And then it's packaged as an API. So we've got a, it, uh, for, for power purchasing agreement, it's an API at the back end um, that's doing this. So it's a, it's a standardized API that we can then take and we can use it and apply it to other templates, I guess, later, exactly. right? Absolutely. So there will be more coming in, in, uh, in, in that regard, for sure. Um, so if somebody wants to get started using OCM, yeah, first of all, if you, you are really curious about how it is all working on, under the hood, so to speak, with, uh, with yeah. the zero knowledge proof you mentioned uh, at, at the core mm -hmm. as a technology, and this is a very fascinating thing. So I really uh, recommend that uh, you tune in uh, tomorrow as we have a fantastic session lined up for you with um, two of our, I would say, most intelligent teams, technical teams, <laughs> to walk you through uh, through it, but obviously if you are interested to learn more about OCM and how your B2B agreement can benefit from it, um, you can reach out directly to me and uh, we can take it from there. We can consider your use case and uh, see 
exactly what we can do for uh, you. Yeah, absolutely. Reach, reach out to us. Um, but you're, you're right. Tomorrow is going to be the technical day. Um, and so I do encourage you because I know that even even yesterday there were some questions already around exactly how does it work? How does it work and what does it look like and what's actually happening? Um, and so tomorrow is the day for that and it's going to be a great presentation I think they'll be able to shed some light on on the workings under the hood yeah. um, so that we can sort of really understand how it how it's working yeah. so um, congratulations thank you uh, thank it you is so much. exciting yeah. um, I will plug once more just for Arno and Ak that were on earlier and supporting us and they did a, a really great job but they did say it's a beta product reach out guys um, they would love to hear from you if you're interested and you think it might be um, useful for your business and you're wondering about can you get involved in some way um, in testing it out then please do let us know um, and and we can do that um, Absolutely. I am gonna just keep having a quick look through because it's not the only thing that we've been doing as a team and, and the, the product engineering team have been incredibly busy since the last summit um, and some of the some of the achievements or some of the things that you can expect to see when you're looking at the portfolio first of all the actual platform itself um, you anyone that logs on that's familiar with what we had before and what we what we have now you'll see that we've got a, a, a totally new look and feel um, certainly an improved user experience uh, when you go into um, blockchain.ey.com um, it's been really prepared and ready for SaaS consumption now. So there's been a tremendous amount of work and we're super excited about it. So do go check it out, um, uh, do have a look and you'll get all the information about all of our products on there. And you can also find how to, out, how to reach us. So um, that I will definitely say. We also spent a lot of time, I would say, um, enabling the privacy um, so all of our API core components that are these Lego bricks that can be used for building your use case um, and certainly if you need help to do that we've got some tremendous consulting teams that can help do that but there's a lot that's already ready out of the box and and we spent quite some time um, first of all making sure that all of these are API enabled so that you can actually use them as the Lego bits that they're intended to be. But they're also privacy enabled so that you have both. So depending on what the use case is, do check it out. Do see what you can already use and what you can already integrate um, into, into your new use cases. And if you've got any questions, then, then reach out to us. But that's really what that sort of base core component level of the platform is about. And we have um, blockchain analyzer reconciler. Um, some of the changes that uh, have come with that, we've got the new ERC20 enabled now and, and also Litecoin coming in. Um, this is a roadmap that's going to continue uh, to develop, I think, in the next uh, year or so. Um, but. I think already uh, incredibly uh, valuable to, to include um, if, if, you, if you need to be doing those reconciliations and you want to build it into your risk management processes. Um, and then on the EY Ops chain suite, so the traceability, the ESG, and as we just said, contract manager is straight out, uh, straight out of the box was already privacy enabled, but we've done the privacy enablement also on, on the other solutions. So everything that you know is for, for token services, um, be aware that you can, you can have those token services with privacy if that's what fits with your use case. Um, so it's uh, a lot of new stuff um, within in the portfolio um, and much to get your arms around. So do, do jump in and look at it. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you more about it or arrange a demo uh, or something similar. Um, so to close out, this is a slide, I think everybody saw it yesterday, but I'm going to just remind everyone that we're incredibly committed to our vision of the future, a vision where we can enable any type of interaction. Uh, we've described quite a lot of them today. We've, we've shared with you at the beginning of the day, we talked about um, this 
concept of supply chain and just how broad it is and how varied and how the use cases can stem from some very different sectors, very different um, business problems, um, but is also very doable. Um, and so we talked about that and we also touched on NFTs and we've touched on um, the usage of, 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 of transactions that require trust at the very, very core and, and really being able to um, take full advantage of that. So the use cases are varied. We've got bigger ambitions. We want to be able to think of the entire universe of B2B interactions. Um, we've got the tokenization, uh, digitization and automation of business agreements with Constantine's team ready and ready and, and waiting to, to help you with that yeah. and of course the business analytics suite so um, with that I think thank you so much for joining us today um, it's been an absolute pleasure and now we've got another guest I'm back another guest you're back refreshed ready to come in and declare victory claim all the credit for the hard work that you have done today uh, and then whisk everybody in the team off to a celebratory post day two dinner. Fantastic, that sounds like fun. We've got a really excellent uh, event lined up for tomorrow and uh, we've, we are gonna be diving deep into the technology world, but this, this is kind of my personal passion is getting this kind of core contract. I this particular screen chart that you have up on the screen is, is become something of a, almost a cliche joke. Everybody in the world knows me like now, they're like, every business agreement, money for stuff under the terms of an agreement and you know the work that especially that Constantine's been doing around contract manager getting it into a place where uh, we can do the agreement part has been enormously challenging, difficult, and uh, very rewarding. Now I think we are we are we are really kind of approaching this takeoff on these kind of transformational activities. Absolutely, and that, that's only just the beginning of the journey. I think it certainly is. It certainly is. And with that. Are we done for I today? I think we're done for today. Fantastic. So, so come back tomorrow for more entertaining things. Tomorrow, Claire will be your primary host, along with Dr. Duncan Westland, who is our head of R&D. And uh, you can scan the QR code on your screen for additional information. Did we already show today's NFT? No. Oh, we need to show today's NFT. We can't let people out without their NFTs. In fact, I need to get my NFT for today. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to get there my we NFT. Go. Last but not least. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Thanks for joining. Thank you. See you tomorrow.